What is going on guys, it is Morlix here and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the top 5 most efficient resource dinos in Ark Survival Evolved. When you are starting as a new tribe it can be quite a daunting process and if you are playing on a PvP server then there is always a constant threat of being raided. The thing you often worry about most is gathering resources and gathering them quickly. I have lined up 5 dinos which in my opinion are the most effective at gathering resources quickly and most effectively. Starting at number 5, the Dodecurus. The Dodecurus, or just Dode for short, is a very favourable tame. Whilst not being a necessity to any tribe, it certainly does make gathering stone so much more easy and will save you a lot more time in the long run. Farming stone is a very tedious process, especially if you don't own a Dode and for this reason is why tribes see it as a definite must have. Upon a new start many tribes tame a Dodecarus almost instantly as it is essential if you wish to have a much quicker, safer and more resource filled start in a new world. Not only does it harvest stone but it is also excellent at farming sand and obsidian, which further gives reason as to it being a favourable tame. For all of these reasons is why I believe the Dodecarus deserves 5th place on my list. Moving on to number 4, the Dung Beetle. The Dung Beetle is a very effective dino in all farming and agricultural aspects. Once you've tamed this creature, which you'll find is very simple and easy to do, you can then load its inventory with feces, which it will then convert into fertilizer and oil once set to wander. The amazing thing about the Dung Beetle is that it makes almost pointless feces become a huge part of your agricultural arc life. Fertilizer is vital when it comes to owning any plant species X turrets and with a few dung beetles you'll have fertilizer at the abundance which really gives you the advantage over less prepared tribes. There are many different sizes of feces which all provide different production values. They range from small which produces one fertilizer and two oil and is dropped by small creatures such as dodos, dimorphodons and so on. Then there is the medium, which produces 2 fertilizer and 4 oil, which is dropped by creatures such as the Argentivus, the Carno, Parasaur and so on. Then large, which produces 3 fertilizer and 6 oil, commonly obtained by larger dinos such as the Rex and Spinosaurus. And lastly there is massive, which produces a huge 16 fertilizer and 14 oil and can only be obtained from a Titanosaur. All of these features make the Dung Beetle very worth your while and will save you a lot of time and effort in the long run and for these reasons is why I believe it deserves position number 4 on my list. At number 3 we have the Beelze Bufo. The Beelze Bufo or also known as the Giant Frog is arguably one of the most efficient dinos at farming cementing paste while still being relatively easy to tame. Cementing paste is one of the most valuable resources in the late game of Ark as it is highly used for explosives and a vast range of PvP structures and gear. There are many ways to farm cementing paste but the Beelze Bufu does it best. Many tribes don't have the time nor the patience to tame the giant snails as they have such a specific diet and are often seen as not worth the trouble. Another method to gathering a vast amount of cementing paste is beaver dams however if you're playing on a crowded server then many of the alpha tribes will almost always beat you to it. That leaves you with the only option, the Beelze Bufo, or also known as the Giant Frog. The Beelze Bufo is a great mount for farming cement paste as it removes the tedious process of farming resources manually and brings the element of enjoyment to it by running around the swamp and eating as many bugs as you can see. Dragonflies and ants drop anywhere between 4 and 16 cement in paste from my own experience and due to the massive amounts of bugs around this quickly becomes a great way of obtaining the valuable resource. And for these reasons is why I believe the BLZ Bufo deserves 3rd place on my list. Moving on to 2nd place, the Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus is arguably one of the most essential dinos if you wish to progress in the game. Metal becomes of a high demand and is often a tedious process to farm, however, with an Ankylosaurus you will have metal at the abundance which gives you a massive advantage when it comes to the need of producing high value equipment and structures. Not only is the Ankylosaurus great at harvesting metal, but it is also great at farming crystal, flint, rare mushroom and rare flowers. 
The Anki is definitely classed as one of the most important dinos that any small or large tribe could ever own, and without the Ankylo, progressing in the game just wouldn't be worth it. For these reasons alone is why I believe the Anki deserves a second place on my list. Last but not least, the Therizinosaurus. The Therizinosaurus, or also more commonly known as the Tickle Chicken, is arguably one of the most desirable dinos to date. The Therizinosaurus is the ultimate wood harvester, but not only can it farm wood, it can also farm chitin, rare flower, keratin, hide, silk, cactus sap, rare mushroom, plant species Y seeds, and fibre extremely effectively, and that's not including the 8 additional other resources it's also great at farming. These reasons alone is more than enough to persuade any tribe to jump straight into their taming gear and head straight out hunting for one. Whether your tribe is small or large, the Therizinosaurus is a must have for anyone as it provides you with pretty much infinite wood along with never having to eat meat again due to its abundance of rare flowers it can obtain. Along with the Therizinosaurus being a great farmer, it is also classed as a very worthy PvP mount. With fair speed, high stamina, health and damage, there is no reason to not get yourself a Therizinosaurus. This is any tribe's favourite pet and will definitely give you the advantage whether you're farming for resources or PvPing with the most hated of tribes. For all of these reasons is why I believe the Therizinosaurus deserves first place on my list. I just want to take the time to thank you all so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like. If you disagreed with any of the dinos in this video then please do leave a comment down below stating your reasons why and if you're new to the channel why not subscribe for some more Ark Survival of All content and I'll see you all in the next video.